as a new Minister of Agrarian Policy and Food. Can you share with us how this conflict has affected Ukraine's food reserves? As you say, the conflict has been going on for a month, and the situation is difficult across the board. It's clear that we are protecting ourselves and fighting back in all directions to the best of our ability in order to live in freedom as a free country and free people. But now in agriculture, as well as in other spheres, there are many problems connected with the conflict. Firstly, we can't export the amount of grain that we usually do. It's over 20 million tonnes corn, sunflower seeds, soybeans, wheat and processed products. It's already influenced world prices. Last month, everyone could see it clearly and feel it. It has led to an increase of world food prices. I'm sure in your country as well. Moreover, every day of this conflict leads to an increase in global food prices. Secondly, the conflict has greatly influenced the sowing season that has already started in our country. Part of the land can't be sowed and in the parts used for sowing, we lack materials such as herbicides, fuel and chemical products. Logistics was mainly carried out through Ukraine's ports that are now blockaded. So the harvest will be much smaller than before, and obviously that will have a negative impact on the global food and grain markets. It will cause food prices to rise. Before Ukraine exported 4 to 5 million tonnes of grain through its ports, 